I'm working in UBC One India Private Limited. It's a software company providing e option and eat and drink to the lounge company. I have a teaching experience of more than three years. I'm working as a guest faculty for CS Lucknow chapter. I'm expert with educated and professional level students. I'm already dealing with corporate law and its allied subjects like corporate restructuring, due diligence, advanced company law, etc. Thank you. I am taking advanced company law and practices. Here I have written a PPT which will be containing all the important topics of CL. First part it is that is company formation and conversion. Incorporation of company as per company and 2013. Company limited by and unlimited company, commencement of business and pre incorporation agreement and contract. These topics will be covering large questions and plus the short questions. They also will be dealing with the case studies and board and special Now, second chapter procedure for alteration of memorandum and this is one of the most important topic and we speak frequently as in the examination. Entrenchment of article is important for multiple questions and alteration of memorandum and article of association is important for long question. Now we are further moving to the third chapter that is right issue, bonus issue, allotment. Set equity shares for feature of shares, reissue, buyback, reduction. Right now, bonus, allotment, set equity shares are important for short questions and for feature, buyback, and reduction will be important for long questions. For buyback and reduction, resolutions and their practice. Skill experience will also come. Now the fourth slide that is debt increment instrument, debentures, debenture redemption results, drafting of debenture trustee and redemption debentures. Debenture and redemption of debentures are important for short questions. Rest is important for long question and drafting of DTD is a practical question which we will be covering eight marks. Then chapter five, membership, transfer and transmission. This whole chapter is very important from the viewpoint of critical analysis case study and long question. Variation of the right situation is important for critical analysis, dematerialization, rematerialization, short question covering four marks each, compliances related to inter-trading and takeovers is a disruptive cap topic. It will be covering five to seven marks. Take over the code is important. Then chapter six, that is director and managerial personnel. One of the most important chapter and weighted chapter for the viewpoint of examination. Appointment, reappointment resignation, removal, 
of directors and company secretary is important. Then this qualification of directors, remuneration of directors is important for eight marks questions. For the first point, case studies and critical analysis will be coming. Loan to two directors, again, a subjective question plus the practical question. It fluctuates, sometimes subjective, sometimes practical. Now, chapter number seven, meeting. Notice agenda minutes. This particular topic is practical. It always covers 10 to 15 marks in a overall paper. These particular topics are also important for the other chapters which are there in the group. Example, CR, due diligence, drafting, ethics. In the paper, they have few questions based on this topic. So, company talk is very important to clear your professional program. Then, general meeting, board meeting is a subject question. Along with the SS1 and SS2, which is a recent amendment by ICSI as well as, as a larger organization. Reliance, Tata, they are already using SSS and making director for as per SS1 and SSS2 with respect to GM and board. Now, chapter number eight and nine, auditor and distribution of profit, which we call dividend. Auditor itself, a very wide topic, which include appointment, resignation, removal of auditor. Removal of, of auditor, appointment of auditor is very important topic from exam next we move to dividend dividend again top eight to ten marks on a practical basis and theory base respect then the education protection fund section 123 individual topic for exam section 123 and 125 go side by side dividend and the RTLP account and it's a major part of director report now come to chapter 10 11 and 12 Procedure related to charges, intercorporate loan, investment, guarantees, and striking off. All these three chapters, you have 10 marks each question, respectively. Now, it depends on the examiner, but which question is going to come. But definitely, these three chapters are there, always there in the exam. From charges, creation of charge, and satisfy function of charge. Plus, the practical question on filing the deputation for the delay of charge or satisfaction. Then, intra corporate loan guarantee, section 186, subsection 2, is frequent. The striking off is itself a long question which contains two parts striking off by company and striking off by register. So it has two procedures respectively. Then, dormant status, it's a new concept 
as per company law 2013 and property law coming this topic is more in coming attempts so i think this topic need to be discussed apart from the theoretical topic which is there in your module i'll always i'll, I'll be focusing on the case studies amendments and the scanner question you have to stick with your module because apart from module there's nothing extra which we have to do i'll be providing you draft copy of the session notes minutes these are the topics which cover 20 to 30 marks apart from that i'll be giving you case laws critical analysis and analysis is on the basis of company safety which are frequently asked in the examination my motive is to clear the concept of company law because it is one of the most important thing for examiners because if your concept is not clear you cannot further for it for your exam because it's a base for other subjects as well so my focus will be on the clarity concept thank you